Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In my previous video, we saw about the concat function that is the new feature that was available in SQL Server 2012 long back. So today in this video, we'll talk about the new function format that was a new feature in SQL Server 2012. Okay, so what exactly this format function does? So this format function actually takes a value that can be of either a date or a numeric and you know and you can provide a format here the formats we'll see below and the third parameter is the optional parameter of culture or the locale or uh, to specify the area of region right so first of all we'll see the numeric formatting right how we can uh, format the numeric so this format function returns a varchar value so please do not use it for any calculation so this format value should uh, should only be used you know when you are returning the result set uh, from the select statement that is only for you know displaying at the client level right so if you are expecting you know to convert a numeric value to some format and if you are doing some calculation over it you know, those calculation will not be possible with the varchar and it will result to an error right so rather than using format use the cast and convert operators but as i said if you are going to retrieve these results and you know to display those at some client or a front end right then this format option is a very good tool so now first of all let's see how you can uh, use this as a zero placeholder right so zero placeholder means let's say i have this number 12 and 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 4 if let's say i want to have a five digits of zero placeholder so how can i do that it's very simple as you can see here right if i have a number 12 and if i have a number 123 and if i have a number 1234 right so here you can see right the results are so it has two digits and you know out of these five digits last two digits are one two and the rest of are three zeros and here the last three digits are one two three and the first two are two zeros right so if you can see here as we keep on increasing the digits here the result you will see the decreased number of zeros right similar way here i had five zeros and here i am having ten zeros right so if i execute this similar fashion you will see right so one two three four and you know the six leading digits here and again here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you will see 4 digits here of zeros. And from 1 to 8, you will see only 2 zero digits, right? So this is how you can specify the zero placeholders, right? So, and the return values are varchar, right? That's why you are seeing zero here. If, if it was integer, zero would not have come here, right? Now, it can also be used as a decimal. Now, how you can do that? Let's say you have a decimal value of this 12.3456. Now you want to round it to only two digits, right? So it's very simple. You just have to use 0 0.00. So after dot, after the decimal, it will convert only into two digits. And similarly for this particular value, let's see how it works, right? So it converted and rounded also this 12.3456 to 12.35. And similarly here, 0 0.3456 to 0 0.35, right? Now let's say if you want to convert these into French, in French language, the decimal specifier is not dot, it is comma. So if you have to represent for France, then you have to provide the locale here, right? Or the culture here. So for France, it is FR, right? So if I execute this, you will get 12 comma 35. Now let's see how the digit placeholder works, right? So here is the digit placeholder. So how it is, so we'll see how it is different from this decimal placeholder, right? So let me execute this. So here, if you can see here, 12.35 is it exactly same as this? But if you see here, right, it is only 0.3. It is not 0 0.3, right? So it omitted the zero value here. But here, the zero value was still there, right? So here, if you can see here, right, and here, the zero value is omitted. Now again, you know, if you want to convert it to French language, then you know, again, same thing. Now let's say if you want to mask a particular number into this particular format or any other format, let's see how it does. So it it will mask this value into this particular fashion. So let's say if you have some other fashion uh, like this, uh, like like two two values like this. So it will mask according to the mask that will provide it here. Okay. Now let's go ahead. So next comes the group separator and number scaling, right? So if you have this particular number and you want to display it as a currency, right? So in English, so the currency like goes like this, once, tens, hundred, 
थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड हंड्रेड थाउजेंड मिलियन टेन मिलियन हंड्रेड मिलियन एंड देन बिलियन राइट सो बाई स्पेसिफाइंग लाइक दिस एंड यू नो प्रोवाइडिंग द लोकेल यू कैन इजिली कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू अंबर स्केलिंग एंड इन फ्रेंच लैंग्वेज इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई अ गैप सो यूल सी अ गैप यूर राइट नाउ कम्स द डेट फॉर्मेटिंग यू कैन ऑल्सो कन्वर्ट द डेट एंड इट्स नॉट एक्जैक्टली कन्वर्ट इट इज फॉर्मेट द डेट राइट सो फॉर अगेन आई एम सेइंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट द डेट एंड यू टू कन्वर्ट द डेट इन टू सम अदर फॉर्मेट यू हैव टू यूज द कास्ट कन्वर्ट ऑपरेटर बट यू जस्ट फॉर्मेट द डेट सो दैट इट शुड लुक डिफरेंट इन योर क्लाइंट टूल और यू नो इन अ वेब पेज सो यू कैन यूज दिस थिंग राइट सो माई फर्स्ट कॉलम इज द गेट डेट आई एम यूजिंग द गेट डेट एंड I just want to see the you know date. So how it will look like? Let's execute this. I'll just only execute this, right? So see, the date formatted will look like this. So you'll have to just provide D here, right? But if you want to see the date like this, D D M M Y Y Y Y means year, okay? The whole year and M M M means this month is May, so it will be M A Y, right? How it will look like? Like this. Correct. You can also convert this into hyphens like this, right? So, so the anything you provide, it will convert it to anything, right? It will, it will even convert this into an invalid date. So you have to use it very carefully, right? Now you cannot provide the date as uh, here without this uh, casting. It, it will be just treated as a string. This will not be treated as a date. So let me. show you so argument data type where care is invalid right so this always accepts a date so i am converting this where care value that is looking as a date to a date right let's see how this works so here is the date i want to format is like the month m o n so it will be for may it will be m a y then d d and y y so there is no month right month is at the beginning so how this will look like just check it is feb 01 2012 right now if i want to show the whole month so it is 4m so let's see here right then february 01 2012 right and uh, you can also provide variables here the variables uh, should be of uh, day type date time and i have uh, set this value over here right that is 2012 2 1 and you know the time hour minute seconds and microseconds so you can even you know uh, format these dates in different different uh, languages right so here what i have uh, to do is i have to provide the third parameter with this format function that is the locale or the culture value right so for german it is de french it is a far spanish is es us then chinese it is zh arabic ar and even you can convert the date to hindi language right that is the indian language so let us see how this look like okay let me execute this as a whole right so german date this is the german date okay then the french date is this right spanish it will look like this chinese arabic you can see the arabic words right and at the end hindi right so this is the hindi language indian language right so it will look like this so this is how you know format function works you can easily format your date and uh, integer values or the numeric values to to any kind of format and that format returned by this format function is in varchar format so you have to you know uh, use this only at the client end or at the select uh, level please don't use it at the calculation level right when you are doing some calculations right so this is it for now please uh, stay tuned for my next videos and please subscribe the video so that you know you can get to know about the new videos that i put on okay thanks a lot